Alright, back again Luke here. And today we've got out the old Panic Custom Control Box Super Gun, and I figured we could put in this game here. Raijian. So, let's pop this on and play some of that. Well, this is another one of those NG Dev games that I just wound up getting in here, and figured we could do some gameplay and a video on it. So, let's pop this on, turn off the old lights, let the intro roll through, and we'll go ahead and do some shooting. So there's our intro, we'll go ahead and hit the old start button, jump in here, As the, at the beginning you can notice we've got three options, novice, normal, and maniac. Maniac throws a tons of stuff at you at one time, so we'll just go with normal mode, and it'll show you at the beginning here how to play. Now if you're able to watch my last video on the pink bullets, last hope, you'll notice Quite a bit of an upgrade from that game uh, and see exactly how far NG Dev has come with this one. At the beginning here we've got just our regular basic shot and the one big difference with Last Hope is you did have a bit of a force field around you, this one you don't. <laughs> A lot of parts in this game complement games like Blazing Star, and some parts even feel a little bit like Gradius in a way. Uh, you can't move your ship too quickly, it's kind of stuck in a fixed speed, so sometimes you'll feel like you just can't move, <laughs> or it's a little difficult to move here. But it's just a beautiful game. The game really shows off its detail at around stage three, which is where you can begin to see how amazing it actually looks. What they were able to do as far as like creative ideas go, pushing in as much as they could in one spot. You've got a rechargeable shot here, which takes a few, a little bit to recharge, but uh, that meter is down at the bottom. And it's almost an essential part in this game in order to get through some parts. You really need to rely on it. One thing to remember too is that you don't have your force field like uh, in uh, Last Hope. I was playing that game a bit earlier. You can see I'm dying like crazy. <laughs> like usual here. But something to remember to get uh, get back in the habit, get familiar with again. So you get used to having a force field around you and you're like, oh yeah, I can just kind of walk into stuff. And then you get hit by a bullet and you're like, no, I can't. You notice here by hitting the gold with your charged beam, you can freeze the gold so it doesn't disappear. Uh, just an amazing looking game. This is one of the latest games, NG Dev. Aside from, Ooh, I forgot about these guys here. Crowdbuster, which is coming out soon, hopefully. <laughs> I think we're coming up on our boss. These bosses are just amazing looking. Provide a 
ton of difficulty here. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of some screen tearing going on there, or kind of artifacting, which makes it a little bit difficult, but it's another really beautiful stage. Once again, around stage three is when it gets really cool. Start introducing some wild concepts. So good. Kind of like a bit of a sub boss here. This music, I mean, really just draws you in. Nonetheless, you can see I'm dying way too much, but just want to share with you guys a little bit of a look at what IGN looks like here for little Neo Geo MBS. Really beautiful game. its fair share of uh, difficulty. Coming up, I think, on our second boss. Once again, like very fluid movement. Eventually catch up with me. Got so much stuff going on on the screen at one time, it's really, really amazing to watch. But let's see if we can show you a little bit of uh, stage three here, and then we'll uh, we'll end it there. Definitely getting used to the uh, the speed of the ship. Something that takes a bit of time. It just feels like you're kind of pulling a, a rock. something kind of cool here pretty soon. There we go. That is just beyond awesome. Gotta love that part. Fly 
straight into him. Ah, really making it fun there with the... Bouncing balls of death. Well, yeah, once you get used to the speed, it makes it uh, a little bit easier, but still, nonetheless, you find yourself going, I just don't have enough space, I don't have enough time to react to that, and you get trapped. Ha, huh, got trapped into a wall. <laughs> good times, good times. But nonetheless, just want to share with you guys a little bit of a look at what uh, the ICM looks like for the old Neo Geo MBS. And as you can see, I'm being annihilated here. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So. Thanks for watching. It's already been way too many. <laughs>